Well, alrighty. Looks like you guys returned, or just started, if this is the first video. Today we're talking about Aperture, or F-Stop. Same thing. Together, they are same same, but different. But still same. So pretty much Aperture is what's in focus and what isn't in your image or video. This is all going to involve numbers and it's all gonna be a little confusing like <laughs> cameras. So with f-stop and aperture, what that is targeting is the lens. And I will show ya. I'm gonna show you, ooh, Jesus Christ. I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm gonna show you a real on-camera demonstration. So this is my lens, this is the 40 millimeter. And as you can see, my lens is open really wide. And that's because it's at an F 2.8. You can see my beard. So at an F stop 2.8, that means the lower the number, the more light is gonna be allowed in. And if I went the total opposite way of F 22, so not a lot of light is gonna be going through. It's gonna be a really narrow beam of light that's entering your sensor. So that's F22, that's the smallest I can go. Small, wide. F22, F2.8, F22, F2.8. So what that means, what's gonna to happen to your photo, so say, and I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram or on Flickr, and if you don't live under a freaking rock, you've seen a photo like this. So say it's a picture of a flower. That's the most common example ever. It's a picture of a flower, but only that one flower is in focus and the whole garden is blurred out. So it directs your attention to that and that only. That's what F2.8 or lower would mean. It would direct your attention to one thing. Whatever your focal point is pointed at, a little square that pops up if you push your shutter halfway and it blinks and it targets, that's what's gonna be in focus. Jesus, it's, it's hot in here, God. <laughs> it's so hot. But it's like noisy outside and I don't wanna open up a window to cause like potential noise pollution up in my video. So I'm just gonna have to just suck it up and suck this up. Deal with it, goddammit. That's what that means. That's what a low f-stop means. It's also used in portraits a lot. Uh, a really abused method in portraits is when you're focusing on somebody's eyeball and just their eyeball. Uh, maybe they have a really pretty eyeball, but you want to have the viewer's attention stuck on the eyeball. So sort of in the in-between, like how there's a, the in-between for the shutters, in-between for the ISOs, would be like a f, I don't know, f5.6 is a kind of a good in-between where not everything's totally sharp and in focus, but not everything's totally blurred out either. And that's more geared for just sort of like general photography. You can do pretty much anything with that f-stop. Me personally, since I'm a portrait photographer, I'm either shooting at one end of the spectrum or the other. Depending how bright my location is, that kind of like gears like, am I gonna shoot a high f-stop or a low f-stop? And the way aperture works is sort of backwards. So if you hear someone say a low aperture, that means a higher number, so like 14, 18, 22, uh, 11. Still to this day, like, has me go like, <laughs> Wait, you said low. Why is the number high? And it's, you know, it's vice versa. So if it's a high aperture, you're thinking like in the realm of like 2.8 or lower. Thou, the, thou's. <laughs> thou shalt not pass me. So if you ever hear a professional talking about a fast lens, that's normally a lens that can go f-stop 2 or lower. Some lenses go f-stop 1.8, 1.4, 1 1.2. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's what it is. So for f-22, what that pretty much is, is everything's in focus. Not one thing is going to be blurred out. Um, you know, you can use that at f-22, f-18. Pretty much anything past f-7.1 or aperture 7.1 or f-stop 7.1, whatever the f it's gonna pretty much be in focus. And I'm talking about the entire picture, not just one. Of course, the higher the number, the more it's gonna be in focus and the sharper your image is gonna be. So that's why these landscape photographers have these gigantic telephoto lenses. And they're shooting at like F80, F90, and so on and so forth, because they need to grab that detail. And it just makes everything just crazy pop and it can also have a really cool effect. So yeah, so that pretty much is f-stop. Or aperture again. So yeah, in a nutshell, 
that's what aperture is that's the easiest i can probably explain it if that was too confusing then i suck or you suck just kidding you don't suck just kidding you don't suck you're pretty cute. So go ahead and click on the other videos. You can either click shutter speed or you can click ISO. Whichever one floats your boat, it really doesn't matter. They're all done with me and with you. So you already know what it is. Catch me on the tube, catch me on the gram, catch me on the book so you know where to look. I'm Sam the Photographer and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, 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 bye.